Damn. Love power. Love power. Body content. Recently, I learned that people thought that the clone of me was actually a twin brother of mine that I apparently never knew I had. And this is me right now telling people that probably still think that I do not have a twin brother. I have a sister who is four years older than but me. But we're not going to talk about that. We don't have to get into that. I'm real. So we're back. And black. And scatting everywhere, all on the floor. What? My living room now looks like I have my life together. I don't believe that because there are currently boxes right behind you. But you don't have to see them. You don't have to see them at all. I didn't even have to talk about that. I haven't done one of these videos in three months? Three months? Four months? I don't know. I'm tired. I haven't done this type of video in a certain amount of months to be determined. And today I decided... Why the hell not? You know? New apartment, new life, new me. Same goddamn Mac looking for them views. Featuring a pink light. For gay reasons. It's pink or gay color. It's a gay color. Y'all remember the Holocaust, right? Are we not supposed to remember the Holocaust? I don't know the rules about the internet. Demonetize. Okay, first of all. Let's get into it. Talking to Twitter, you guys sent me some of that good old anti-gay shit. Because apparently the world still hasn't learned. This is me pretending like my videos have some type of influence. And today we're going to react to them. Hello. 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 But first, let me try to remember my Twitter password. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we're back. Twitter's out. We're here. We're queer. These people are. At least they're trying to make us believe they are. Remember that time when that anti-gay preacher was found on Grinder, and so he quit his church, moved out of the state out of embarrassment? Remember when that happened four more times after that? We love predictable people. So here we are. Send me some good anti-gay shit. Ooh. Any mini money mo, let's do this one. What are you? Who are you? What's happening? Who's Piers Morgan? I'm fishing. Owl. You don't have a surname, Owl? It's to an Icelandic surname. Let's keep it out. First of all, don't know a single thing they just said in the first five seconds of this video. <laughs> when the accent's so strong, <laughs> the accent makes you question things. That's the first thing people ask, isn't it? Are you a boy or are you a girl? It's an opportunity. My book comes out tomorrow. Oh, you don't know? Oh, bitch, here's my book. <laughs> it's coming out tomorrow, bitch. Buy it. This isn't that, this isn't that anti gang. This is just them having a conversation, which is what we should be doing in this world, by the way. Excuse me. I mean, yeah, Pierce probably said a few things that came off quite harsh. But she was still listening and he was still having a conversation. He was just confused. People might say offensive things out of pure confusion, but that's out of pure confusion. As long as they're listening, no one starts off fully woke. Everyone starts off ignorant about something, okay? Okay, moving on. Next video. I wasted like, what, eight minutes on that? Didn't understand half word they said, but you know what? I caught some context. Someone sent me a picture of somebody holding a sign that says, Homosexual marriage is an act of terrorism. Explain, please. <laughs> What? Excuse me. Wait a minute. How? What are we terrorizing? Your ignorance, bitch? I'm sorry. I guess I'm a double terrorist too with my black ass. All these racists. A gay man existing? Oh my gosh. I feel terrorized. <laughs> Okay. I'm low-key glad the dog is not barking because that dog was barking for five hours straight yesterday and I honestly almost... You almost had to call Peto on my ass because something almost happened. I swear to God. In my mind. In my mind. I wasn't actually going to do any. Don't. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> okay, we're just going to move on to another video. <laughs> Try to save me some views. Campbell's recently released a new ad online that features a yeah. gay couple. We love that. Uh, Cooper, I am your father. I just cringe so much right now. But you know what? For the gay, we're gonna accept it. No, no, no. I am your father. And it got even more cringy. But you know what? It's for the gay. It's for the gay. Campbell's Star Wars Soups. The religious right in the country had a problem with it. Oh, we love the religious right, right? We love that here. That gives me content. They give me views. So sick of this homosexual agenda, you sell soup not butt sex. That's what just <laughs> Wait a minute! First of all, I'm so sick of this homosexual agenda. I mean, who's not sick of me, right? Second of all, you sell soup, not butt sex. Wait a minute, bitch. Was there butt sex in the commercial? Was they advertising butt sex in the commercial? 
so okay. Let's talk about this. Let's rewind this. Let's drop this down. Let's booty pop it. You're seeing a gay couple walk around, and the first thing that comes to your mind is butt sex. That is your problem, not mine. Bitch. You're the one that's perverted. You're the one that's mine went there. You're mad. That's Campbell's suit. For your dirty ass mind? I'm sorry. Right. First thing that came to your mind is anal. Second of all, bitch. Not every gay man or gay couple does anal. That's the tea, honey. That is the vodka infused tea, bitch. That low key makes me wonder. If homophobes are watching this video right now, watching my YouTube channel and I come out as gay, is the first thing that comes to their mind. Oh, I wonder how much dick he takes. None of your business? Oh, two men feeding their child like a normal happy family? Hey, no! Oh, Jess Hicks. We love a queen of perversion. It's like they sit around walking around calling us perverts. But then thinking about us getting dick in our ass whenever they see us. Explain, please. Explain, bitch. I don't understand. I don't get it. You watched that ad with that adorable little child. And you immediately thought of anal sex? Exactly. There might be something wrong with well, you. Exactly, bitch. I forgot about that. There's a child in the video. And the first thing that came to your mind was anal, bitch. What? The poor kid must have a terrible life. Imagine going to school having to tell everyone you have two dads. Imagine going to school having to tell everyone you have two dads in 2018. Only person that would have a problem is you, bitch. Like, if someone in elementary school walked up to me and was like, I have two dads, I'd be like, okay, whatever, I don't care. Parents are gross. Can I have your applesauce? I don't give a shit. Kids don't give a shit. The only reason why the kids will care is because your ass will make them care because of your goddamn ignorance. The fear you have will imprint on your kids, and your kids will be like, oh, I'm told to fear this because of my parents. But in reality, they don't have to fear this at all because, bitch, it's just two dads. He must have a terrible life, bitch. He's in a Campbell's soup ad. I think it's going pretty well. Where are you at? What you doing? How much money you got? You got Campbell's soup money, bitch? Because I don't think so. I'm done with this iconic moment in gay history. It's not okay to be gay. True. <laughs> and it's not playing back. What's happening? Not okay to be gay. Come through, slow fade in title sequence. Come through, ready to drop some dramatic tea, bitch. Okay, get your pussy wet. Okay, this is... Hello? 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 <laughs> Why is there no sound? Is that just my computer acting up? Wait a second, give me a second. Hello? Hello? Is my laptop broken? What is happening right now? You better now? Nope. What? <laughs> Wait, let me try playing a different video and see what happens. Oh, well, plot twist. It is my laptop. I think my laptop I had too much of this shit. It was like, no, nope. everything is canceled. Throw it out the window. I am done. My laptop was like, bitch. Again? Bitch, have you made already enough of these? I'm gonna be right back. Hey, okay, we're back. We're still black and we're still scatting. Scatting? Shatting. Shatting. I originally meant shatting. I ruined my own joke with my own stupidity. Oh my god. Let's just get back to some ignorant people so people think I'm actually like smart and know what I'm doing. Not okay to be gay. Eh? There we go. Okay, yeah. perfect. We have sound. My laptop is not broken. This bitch was expensive. Okay to be gay. Not okay to be a homo. Shouldn't live that way. God said it's a real big no no. Say it again. <laughs> God said it's a real big no no. We walked up to God and we were like, gay? And he was like, no no. <laughs> Not okay to be a homo God said it's a real big no-no You can look it up for yourself now Bible says in Leviticus 18.22 Thou shalt not lie Now one line people use to justify oppressing millions of human beings From that one book in that one section of that one version of the book, by the way. And I really did look up that word abomination 17 years ago now after I came out of homosexuality. Did he say he came out of homosexuality? Or what? What? Let me, let's rewind this. After I came out of homosexuality. Right, yeah, he said... <laughs> what? Did he, what? How did you come out of homo... What? What? What was the... What's the secret code? One more time. Wait a minute. After I came out of homosexuality. He just puts Walks right out of the homosexuality. That's what he's saying. I'm not, my ears are not being weird right now. I'm like, this is like, yes. Abomination means enormous sin. Morally disgusting. 
dusty, dirty, and perverted. Not Adam and Steve. Not okay to be a homo. God said it's a real big no no. Second verse. Not okay to be gay. <laughs> when you don't know music, it's just that second verse and sang the chorus again. Excuse me, my gay ass. But it's okay, you made a bop. We'll excuse it. We love a queen. A queen that walked out. Not okay to be perverted. Not in your DNA. What you need is to be converted. Oh, God. Personal experience. Homosexuality is an unhappy, unholy, unnatural, unsatisfying lifestyle. He said personal experience. Okay, so he did. He did suck a dick. He sucked the dick. And the dick sucked back, bitch. <laughs> he licked that ass and God was like, no, no. So he had to walk right out. He opened the door and was like, bye. That's the secret. You just walk out of it, guys. You know, if you just, after a few times, and then you just don't go away. You're just like, you know what? I'm going to open this door. Walk right out. Well, that was fun. Got a few dick sucks. Got a few ass licks. Made a camel soup ass. And now I'm going back to straight them. Goodbye. Judge not lest you be judged. Jesus didn't stop there when he said, judge not. Talking hypocrite. People who knew judging was calling something right or wrong. They thought it was wrong to judge, and they would still say, you're wrong for judging. What's that supposed to make sense? I thought this was a song, bitch. What are you doing? Did he just, did he just find a way to say that he can judge all he wants? What? is religion. So far, what I'm getting right now is that people use religion to just do whatever the hell they want and justify whatever the hell they want. Like, he's just justified right now judging people. Everyone says that the Bible says not to judge. He found a way around it. He just told us some bullshit. But then, at the same time, he's gonna take lines from one part of the book and take that as literal as impossible. But then this section, oh, no, not literal at all. I'm gonna judge all I want. Bitch, get this man <laughs> and rhyme for like once for a second. I need this bop back. But read on all the verses now. Just don't take one verse out. Bitch, I thought you were giving this song out. Okay, I'm so Oh my god. Did you not just take one line out of the book and now make it a song about it? And then just say, don't take one line out. I'm tired. Take the log out of your eyes. That's code for a dick. Sometimes they get up there. We don't know how. It's just when you get in the moment, things happen and suddenly. It's not okay to be gay. Hey. It's not okay to be a homo. God said it's a real big no no. I'm not okay to be gay. Not okay to be gay. Not okay to be perverted. It's to be converted. Why the hat, actually? I just need to know. Pastor defends his anti-homosexual sermon. Let's see. No homos will ever be allowed on this church. Well, I remember this one, bitch. We're getting a sequel. Are you serious? Yep. Teaching that God's word says that killing gay people is the only way to get rid of AIDS by Christmas. Wait a minute. He said that? In the I don't remember that section. <laughs> I have to be honest, when, when I heard your sermon, it sounded like the rantings of someone who was either a hate monger or a religious zealot. And I'm wondering, which are you? Well, as a Christian, I believe the Bible, and that's where I get my belief. Is thou shalt not kill one of the commandments? Yes, it is. Bye. But, <laughs> yes, it is. Why? This is me going to try to justify why I'm about to kill all these gays right now, because that's what we do in religion. Turns out that certain people are gay. That's just a lie. Because it's not random. It's it's not something that's just going to accidentally happen to one of my well, children. If you had a gay son or a gay daughter, what would you do? Then that's like saying, well, what if your daughter grew up to be an axe murderer? What if your son grew up to be like Adolf Hitler? What would you do then? I mean, it's just a silly question. Well, well. You would like to see anyone who's not heterosexual die, correct? Well, the Bible says that I'm everyone... Do you see what is happening right now? This man wants to kill...
kill gays, but he's hiding behind religion because he is a coward. You understand this? He's running away. He's literally holding the Bible in front of him. This is like not even, this is literal symbolism. He has strong biases against homosexuality, but instead of facing his own biases and his own mind, he is using religion as a shield to preach and attack groups of people he does not like. Those are the type of people I cannot stand. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I've talked about this. The foundation of religion I respect, but the people like him, people like that motherfucker that use religion as a shield to attack people can burn anywhere, bitch. I don't give a shit. Burn, bitch. Burn right now. I'm moving on. We will do one more video. And I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go eat. People have no control over their race, for instance. You think they have control over their sexuality? Absolutely. You think Ooh. being gay is a choice? Ooh. Absolutely. Ooh. <laughs> ben Carson thinks gay is a choice. Who here is surprised? No one? Awesome, let's move on. A lot of people who go into prison go into prison straight, and when they come out, they're gay. Did something happen while they were in there? Did he just use prison as an example? You have a I'm speechless, man. <laughs> if you're placed into a building full of a bunch of people of the same sex for countless amount of years and you have needs, what the hell are you gonna do, bitch? One example, bitch. One example and suddenly homosexuality is just a choice. Bitch, bitch. Some people are allergic to peanuts. Other people aren't. And then become allergic to peanuts. So I'm guessing peanut allergies are a choice now too, according to that analogy. I wasn't sensitive to lactose until two years ago. So I guess lactose intolerant people is just a choice, bitch. It's just a choice. According to Ben Carson. What do we learn today, kids? Just walk out of it. <laughs> I don't even know. Wow. We love a mess. That's all I'm going to say about this. But anyways, I'm going to go eat a burrito and find the keys to this lock of my homosexuality so I can just hop on out, bitch. Always stay true to who you are. But anyways, my name's Mac. This is some Ciroc. I'm going to finish the rest of this bottle. These videos take a lot out of me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. Bye.